bringing you the forecast of this morning it's raining in South Jersey and it's so cold but we are going grocery shopping and I decided to take you guys with me and vlog while I go grocery shopping because I'm completely out of everything so I need to restock um, my fridge pretty much and my pantry and I also need to go to two or three different stores so I decided to tag you along and show you what I like to buy what are my favorite stores what do I go for how is this plant-based lifestyle looking when you go grocery shopping I always make a list when I go grocery shopping I always make a list just because especially if I'm hungry I gravitate towards the bad aisles and I don't want to do that I want to stick to you know my list to the products I need. I don't want to buy by instinct. I just want to buy things that I would actually use and need. Today, I just had a job. I did makeup for two beautiful women, and now I am free to go grocery shopping. Alexander is home with his dad, and so the boys are home. I have the time. I can show you around a little bit. I can vlog and then at the end of this vlog I'm gonna show you what this day looked like so let's hit the row I'm also gonna include in this vlog um, some animal product because we're gonna buy some fish and probably some eggs for Alexander but for the most part everything is gonna be plant-based we started eating a little bit of fish here and there so I'm planning to do fish tacos this weekend Alexander loves fish too and I usually buy it from Costco I get the wild caught Atlantic cod it is great but other than that you're gonna see everything pretty much that we eat and that we buy and that it's plant-based so let's go <laughs> success you can see my ring light in the back of course I forgot bags I only had one bag with me in my car but Trader's, uh, Trader Joe's was a success uh, they had so much produce so I had I bought a lot from them I got myself some fresh cut mango this is what I'm gonna snack on because I'm so hungry right now so I got so much stuff I got mini cucumbers lettuce cabbage onions red onions um, sweet potatoes what else did i get avocado bread um honestly trader joe's has the best price for ezekiel the difference is almost around like dollar fifty or two dollars in comparison with whole foods here it's 4.49 and i think a full whole foods it runs for 5.49 or six dollars not sure some grocery stores have sell ezekiel for almost eight dollars which i think it's insane but trader joe's has the price best price for ezekiel bread now i'm gonna go to costco and buy potatoes that's what i need potatoes more fruit and veggies what else fish and i think that's pretty much it so i did pretty good i was so busy in there oh my god mm but i was fast that's because i have a list let's hit the road so guess what i was on my way to costco and i found a wegmans on my way so i had to stop by the thing is wegmans is like a whole foods it's giving whole foods vibes you know what i mean like they have great products they have clean products they do care for what they sell so i'm so so happy because this, this is really far from our house and i'm so happy i got to um come here 
actually i don't think i'm gonna go to whole foods if i find everything that i need like milk yogurt oat flour in here then i'm not gonna go to whole foods anymore because i'm pretty much done with all my produce so that and i need to go for to costco for my big products but other than that i'm pretty good with the healthy stuff and so i'm gonna check out wegmans and i'm gonna take you with me Okay, Wegmans was great. I was able to find milk. I didn't find my milk, which is Elmerhurst. Elmer? Hurst, blah, 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 whatever you say it. I got the Oatly, which was fine. And Voyager yogurt, I didn't get the Harvest one. That's made out of coconut, but that's fine too. And uh, I was fast. I didn't really linger too long in there but i was able to find whatever i needed i got kale um i got bananas because they had organic bananas here i got some beets and i also got a little snacky because i am done with my mango and i found these i don't know what this is i found it on the asian aisle and they sounded great so they're made out of rice flour they're like little pretzels made out of rice flour with soy sauce, seaweed, a little bit of sugar, and tapioca starch. So they don't have a lot of ingredients. So for a snack, this is a win. They have seaweed, which is amazing for your, uh, your iodine intake. So this is a good snack. And they're made out of rice flour. So let's uh, try them out. Mmm. They taste like seaweed, and I love seaweed. Mm, oh my gosh, so good. It's like seaweed cracker. Delish and genius. Mmm, so good. But let's go to Costco because I feel like it's nighttime. Even though it's not it's like 4 o'clock. But literally, sun goes down so fast. So let's go to Costco and finish our groceries for today. Let's go to Costco. funny how different locations have different stuff. This castle has definitely more stuff than this castle. So I'm so excited when I get to try new stuff. I love it. I need to go buy fruit though now. So let's go. I decided there for a minute because I saw this dark chocolate no sugar added. But guess what? It has every three tall, which is worse. So no. More every three tall. So no. Monk fruit, yes. Everything troll, however you say it, no. Got home and this is what I did for groceries. I'm gonna unload everything and uh, take everything out and show you what I got. So I'm gonna show you the first part because I have no room for everything. I got only milk. Kiwi from Costco. This is from Trader Joe's. Kimchi and it's delicious. Avocado, avocado mash. I love this for sandwiches or wraps. Mushrooms, bananas, more bananas. Campari tomatoes, beets, two bunches of kale. And then in the back I have, that's it, which is amazing snack. 
then I got some wild caught shrimp, celery, uh, what else? Cauliflower, cantaloupe, then the pomegranate seeds, which I absolutely love from Costco, Atlantic ca uh, caught, wild caught, green beans, bread, Ezekiel bread, carrots, Foyager yogurt, I don't know why it got so dirty, beets were sitting on top and some spinach and i'll show you the rest this is part two we have brussels sprouts mini cucumbers blackberries lemons limes more yogurt this is the one from trader joe's and i kind of like the ingredients spring onions some sort of vegan dip i thought this would be good for my husband and then this looked really cool he Kama wraps. I hope you pronounce that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but it's literally just hikama. So this looks great. And then tortilla wraps. These are amazing. We're actually gonna make fish tacos tonight. I got the nut butter, which looks great. These I got because I mean, the ingredients are really, really good ingredients. And then I got some lettuce oat flour more oat flour zucchini from trader joe's more bananas obviously i found this at trader joe's and i wanted to get it this is frozen organic corn some uh, red cabbage and carrots and then the frozen stuff which i like from trader joe's the falafel i got two and then i got two of the veggie balls which are so good and then sweet potatoes, organic sweet potato, cilantro, red onions, white onions. Uh, these I found in Trader Joe's. I don't know. Hopefully they're good. They're the pasture raised for Alexander. What else? Am I missing anything? No. And then I, I got the harvest water, the coconut water, because we love it. Yeah. So this wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed my grossy haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!